Hi, Air Science, Jamel Ibra, and Chris. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who's missing you like crazy and why. And today is the 5th of January, 2023. Time is 7.50 a.m. here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Now, please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Air Science. And if you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same air sign. All right, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Who is missing air signs like crazy and why? Not a once in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Can be any sign, okay? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, fixed signs here. Ten of Swords, this for me indicates that was um, a very painful ending between you and this person. Eight of Cups in reverse is someone that still hasn't moved on yet. And I've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Maybe this is someone you no longer are passionate about. Um, you, or you may have rejected this person unless it's vice versa if this person has rejected you instead and could have caused you a lot of pain and sufferings with the ten of swords here so this person misses your kindness with the temperance um, also though I, I feel like you may have helped this person um, balance something okay it could be balancing their account for them because <laughs> I'm seeing that pentacles here. It could be related to money or just balancing them emotionally, mentally, or it could be overcoming any sorts of difficulties in your life. Addiction could be anything, but I feel like they definitely miss your kindness here, temperance, your patience. I think you've helped this person a lot. You were like just an angel to this person, okay? It's an angel, right? So we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse, and then we've got the Nine of Cups here in reverse. I feel like this is somebody, somebody who could be, I think this person could be either in a relationship right now or wants to be in a relationship, um, but unhappy. With wherever they're at right now, it feels like they're unhappy. They could be in a relationship or they could be single but wants to be in a relationship but couldn't find somebody where they are as passionate about. They couldn't find anybody that they're as passionate as they were towards you. Still, I would say that this person is still passionate about you, but also, at the same time, it feels like this is somebody somebody that you've tried, that you've tried long and hard with the temperance here. You tried so hard to be patient with this person and I think they appreciate your patience and they miss that. Maybe whoever they have met don't really have the same kind of patience for them as you did with them, okay? Ten of Pentacles. They could be missing a sense of um, family. Maybe you included this person in your family gatherings, events, something about family. Could also be missing the home that both of you were staying, where you kept everything nice and organized. If it's not that, it just feels like there's something about the future because the Ten of Pentacles can indicate a future. So they could be missing out on a future with you, okay? And the world here in reverse, justice in reverse. I think this is somebody who didn't treat you fairly in the past. In the past, and the Nine of Cups can indicate maybe also they were very selfish. They were just thinking about themselves. And it may have hurt you here, the Ten of Swords, because you, you've given... You've given this person a lot. I think you've been the 
the one who was unselfish, but they were the ones who was being selfish. Uh, who knows? It could go vice versa. And the world here, Emma verse indicates a stuck energy where I think this person hasn't moved on yet, can't move on. But I think it has something to do with what could have been for the both of you. Ten of Pentacles um, could have been a bright future. Both of you could have been a really good team. Could have built something together. Or, you know, generally it just feels like this person could be missing being a part of your family. Or this person could be part of your family, okay? Could be a sibling, could be an ex, could be could be anybody, a best like a really, really good friend. Let's see, just a little bit more. Yeah, Queen of Wands here is in rub first. And we've got these six of wands in rub first. Yeah, and this is someone you're not really giving them a time of a day. I think this is someone you used to look up to. You used to respect this person. You used to possibly admire this person, idolize this person. But I think you no longer do. I think for a lot of you, air signs, you could be in a way better place now without this person than with this person in your life. They miss the attention you used to give them. Yeah. For some of you, just as some of first, <clears throat> excuse me, this person could be a divorcee, could have been married before, or was in a very serious relationship with somebody in the past, or you could have been married to this person in the past, just as some of first. Maybe this could be someone you've divorced. If it's not, it's some sort of a separation. Whatever the case is, it feels like this could be somebody that you were most definitely in a serious relationship with or could have been married again or separated, divorced. Okay, and we've got the page of wands, another very strong fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I think both of you have lived together in the same house with Ten of Pentacles here. Both of you may have, may have had a, a certain routine, um, whether it's making breakfast, waking up together, going to the gym together, going for a swim. I don't know. I feel like both of you may have done a lot of things together, okay? I think that's what they could be missing. And I don't feel too good right now. I think they, I think this person misses you because nobody, nobody else was as patient, you know, as you were towards this person. And Page of Wands, they miss conversations between two of you or something about your creativity your suggestions that always kind of make sense or make them think out of the box. All right, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. In fact, I upload them right away once I am done um, with all of the readings. And recently, I've been posting twice a day, so check them out if you want to. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Take care, Air Science. Bye.